welcome back to my channel it's me linda today's video is going to be my hair journey and i'm gonna talk about everything that has happened to my hair from my last rice water hair video and even before that so that you can have an idea of how my hair grew to this extent ever since i was young i always remember having relaxed hair so i never really knew how my hair was so like this and there were periods of time where i would cut my hair or my hair was like bald like <laughs> in 2021 that's when i decided oh i want to go natural so i kind of grew my hair out a bit and then cut it off it was interesting because i never knew my hair like that before and by that time natural hair was like a trend not really a trend but it was something that oh the girlies have it why not hop on and you know have that hair so i had my natural hair out i kept the hair until april 2022 i kind of grew tired of my hair i didn't really do research about my hair type I just see like a short or a tiktok saying oh this is how you do this but i never really implemented it because i was broke <laughs> i ended up <laughs> I ended up relaxing it which was one of the biggest regrets i have ever made with my hair and after i relaxed i was like hmm i can braid my hair now it's not that hard to take care of but my problem was that i just did not like it i did not like how it was on me i didn't like the feel i did not like it at all so i ended up cutting my hair i had a fade for like a month and i started growing up my hair then that's when i really started afresh with my natural hair journey may 2022 was when i properly started my hair care journey and my video about rice water that i uploaded was in june or july of 2022 and that's when i started putting rice water in my hair i documented it pretty well in my video so if you wanted to check that out you can always check it out but I saw the effects of it and I would say my hair did grow a bit faster. So between May and I think November, no, August, I was always wearing hats and beanies because it was cold and I did not want people to know that I had very short hair. So I always concealed it and just kept on going. And it was the only way that I could really protect my hair because it was too short to braid anything until um, my sister came to Botswana in October and she braided my hair for me and I'm still surprised to this day that she was able to braid it with my very very short hair it really helped grow my hair and protect it so that's one of the things that I started doing if my hair is unbraided I do twists I, my iconic twists or I do cornrows or I do braids one of those hairstyles or I wear wigs literally that's all I do to protect my hair yeah okay now during november that's when i started to keep track of like my hair growing i took some videos and i have enough footage or pictures to show the different stages of my hair because i remember when my hair was this short and it grew to this length and this length and so now it's like somewhere around here and seeing the growth over two years is crazy it's so fascinating that wow my hair grew and stuff like that but i really tried my best to improve the way i took care of my hair in this period of time because i was doing things now that i was not doing before and i always was a firm believer that my hair did not grow i always thought ah, it's it's like stunted growth i was wrong pretty much if you want to grow out your hair it's best to find out what is good for your specific hair type there are a lot of videos that may help you but you won't see results which make you stop trying and then you become upset with the results i think that was me for some period of time because i was just following videos blindly not knowing if it was going to have my hair results because the thing is with videos like that they're, they're supposed to be long term but i just did it for a week and i stopped trying so you shouldn't do things like that you should actually find out what is okay for your hair so another very important thing genetics i only know my mom's hair type i don't know my dad's hair type her hair is very curly and very light when it's short and it's very different from hers because it's very thick as you can see it's like very thick genetics is a very important tool in trying to grow out your hair because the same amount of time two years that will be given someone else 
they would have a completely different result because I won't lie, two, this is a, this is a good result for two years. I'm not trying to reach lengths that are like my back. I think this is a good result because I really am not trying to grow up very, very long hair. I just want my hair to be good, healthy, and not receding. Knowing what's best for your hair, like knowing about your hair porosity, about certain chemicals that are good for it, all those things, they're very important. Patience is so important. Every YouTuber mentions this because it's true. You are not going to see results if you are not patient enough to let the magic work. I, I leave my hair in protective stuff for like two months and I think that's more than enough time for it to, for you to just leave your hair alone. How often you wash your hair, how often you touch your hair, a lot of things, you know, factor into your hair length retention, the speed at which it grows and all those other things. I'm not someone who knows a lot about hair, but after having natural hair for two years, you have to pick up a lot of things and you know, you have to incorporate them into your hair care routine and stuff like that. So that's pretty much my hair journey. This is the hair as you can see. It's looking, it's looking good, it's looking thick, very, very curly. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked, please subscribe or like the video, leave a comment, any tips that you have when it comes to natural hair. See you in the next time. Bye.